morning everyone welcome to vlogmas day three i have just arrived in oxford it is about nine o'clock so really early um i dropped teddy off at the vets because he's gone for his castration today and he didn't know what was coming bless him but um i'm trying to think about too much from his point of view what this is going to go through because you can't really do that in life you can't get into someone else's head because you're not them it's probably worse for me at the end of the day um that's a lie but still um so they're really good at the vets i just go to the one that's local to me in town and um got him some more flea treatment the one he takes if you are curious is advocat if you have dogs um and now he's in the large dog category which is quite funny because i thought he was going to say quite a small dog but he's grown and grown <laughs> so his dad definitely wasn't a miniature poodle i don't think but anyway um so he's 11.5 kilograms now last time i weighed him he was nearly 10 so he's put on a fair bit of probably chicken and cheese weight i would think um so they're looking after him now and i had to like decide when i was there if i wanted to have him like there was two extra options i could choose one was like a blood test before his anesthetic because to see if his kidneys and livers were kidney kidneys they have two and liver was functioning properly um before he's put under so opt not to have that one because he is a puppy and he's had his health check so he should be okay and it was like an extra 40 pounds i think um but i did opt to have the uh fluids attached to him when he's going through the operation and after because apparently it aids a quicker recovery and um well obviously he's still a healthy puppy like i want to do what i can to make sure that his recovery is as quick as possible when he's in like as least pain as possible maybe i was ripped off i don't know <laughs> but um it's kind of you put on the on the spot there because i was like oh, i don't know like you feel like a bad parent if you don't opt for these things so i'd rather have him be more comfortable than me say buy like a couple of jumpers from top <laughs> um so yeah he's been looked after there uh, for most of the day he should be ready between 3 and 6 p.m so i've got the day to myself which is really nice actually like i feel like um i feel like me again <laughs> even though i like obviously love teddy i have been struggling to find time to myself so it's gonna be nice just to not feel rushed not feel like i have to get back to the dog sitter or my family to um who are watching teddy so it's gonna be nice to have the day to myself and it's a rainy day rainy monday um and yeah i'm glad i got my work done yesterday so i can do this today and it's a bit less stressful so um i'm just wearing if you're curious a pink coat from zara which i've worn so much so you've probably seen it a lot um and then like a bershka cream ribbed jumper and then i'm wearing some like leopard print leggings which come where they're from um which i really like and then some black boots so i'm gonna just get out of the car so i'm just gonna move the camera down here um yeah i made the mistake of walk of driving through central oxford which wasn't very clever because um rush hour traffic in oxford oxford generally is really hard to drive in um if you've never been to oxford before there are bikes everywhere and i was just like dodging them everywhere um no one got hurt in the process so it's fine so i've parked in westgate which is like the shopping center which i love and i'm going to check out the new zara i'm only letting myself buy like maybe one or two jumpers and i really want some like cozy loungewear from primark so that's where i'm gonna head for those and um need some like general supplies from super drug fun things like exfoliating gloves and a couple of christmas presents which i'm gonna go and hunt down so i shouldn't have too much to do and i'll probably like stop and get myself a coffee and some food i did remember that i have an itsu gift card which they kindly sent me um when i couldn't make the opening of the one in westgate so I'm probably going to head there. I think it was £10, so I'll probably have lunch at Itsu, which would be really nice, and um, treat myself to that. But, yeah, I'll see where the day go takes me. Show you around as much as I can, but obviously, because it's raining, I don't want to get my camera too wet. And in the fitting rooms, it's so annoying that a lot of the places have music in the background, so you can't... Uh, I can't film with music, like, sound on because of copyright. But I will show you what I can. I'm debating whether to bring my scarf or not. I think it's quite... Uh, I think it's be quite warm when I'm walking around. I feel a bit bulky with everything on so I might leave it off. And um yeah I did curl my hair today but it's kind of dropped already. I used um my GHDs 
which I think is, looks quite nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and I will chat to you guys a bit later. now after a good few hours shopping it's just gone two o'clock so I've been here for like nearly five hours which is the longest I've shopped in a while um, obviously I sat down and had lunch which you saw had a nice vegetable dumpling thing from Itsu and some of those Emily vegetable crisps which are really nice and I got most of what I wanted to get um, I got quite a few pairs of like loungewear bottoms from Primark which aren't the most exciting thing ever but to me I love nothing more than being comfortable so when I'm in the house most of the day or walking teddy I don't want anything too restrictive or like tight I just like to feel like loose and free so I got um, some jogging bottoms from Primark and also some hair bands some slippers because teddy's like chewed most of mine uh, socks exciting things like that and then I also oh I so I was a bit naughty and got a couple things from Mango. I went into Zara, tried a load on there. Love the shop, so clean and so bright, and it's like really spacious. Monday's the best day to shop because it's so quiet. Um, tried on a load of things, and sorry, my nose is running. Um, but didn't really like love anything, so I left them. And then I went into Mango after I had my Itsu lunch and got a lovely scarf, which is like a tan check color. I've only got one scarf at the moment, so I feel like it's justified. Um, and then I got a a cable jumper which I will show you later properly and then a pink obviously ribbed thin long sleeve top which I just really like the pink colour obviously I like pink um, so yeah I've got those things which I kind of needed kind of didn't <laughs> so yeah I'm happy with them anyway um, and got some exfoliating gloves from uh, Superdrug which are my like favourite ones got two pairs of these and then my mum wanted a pair too. I did get some antlers for Teddy from Accessorize. Reindeer antler dog boppers. I mean he's gonna look so cute in these I just couldn't resist and he's got a little Christmas jumper which you've seen so they'll go nicely with them. And I think that was pretty much it. It took me a while to go through it all because I'm trying to be really careful about like what I'm spending money on so like hum and ha and aid in the shop and then like try things on like 10 times and takes quite a while and I got some eyeliner from NYX that's the other thing some like brownie um, dark brown eyeliner because I prefer brown on my eyes because it's less harsh because of like daily wear so yeah and then I was looking for a Christmas present but I didn't find anything that I wanted that I thought would be good for the person so I left it um, and I got some kombucha I'm really thirsty for the journey back this was or nearly five, three pounds eighty, I think it was. I mean, ridiculous. Um, but I hardly have kombucha, so ginger and lemongrass from Le Pan Quotidien. So all in all, a successful, a successful trip, and I'm going to head back now. I'm going to pop home first before I pick up Teddy because I want to put everything away and then give him my full attention. Um, I got a phone call from the vet. Said his operation had gone well, and he was kind of coming round and like awake and stuff. So. I've opted for the romper as opposed to the cone because I don't really want to have him like a cone walking around for 10 days. I just feel like he's not going to be able to move properly or see anything. Um, which I guess they know so they get the money from me. But hopefully he'll look cute with a little romper. It's going to be hard to clean him that way. He has a little wet wipe routine that I do every night so that's going to be a bit tricky to do with the romper on. But we'll see. It's going to take it easy for 10 days but try explaining that to him. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll give him some nice 
bland food apparently when he gets home and um, yeah I will probably answer a few emails as well and I will see you in a bit. Very quickly these are the tops, there's a pink top, the grey jumper and my scarf in daylight. I'm gonna pick up Teddy. Teddy is on my bed now because he's not feeling too well. Poor thing, he's very quiet and I'm trying to get him to sleep. He's got his little um, navy suit on but he's not really speaking to me which is understandable um, and he's been to the toilet once and then I've got some anaesthetic to give him like pain relief um, for the next few days he has to be careful um, we can only go on walks for like 10 minutes a day so that's that and apparently it went all okay as it can go um, so this is all we're doing this evening really I'm going to start probably editing this vlogmas so it can go up um, so I'm like ahead of the game I think and then I'll share the one that went up that goes up today, yesterday um, so you'll have seen that now hopefully and yeah thank you for watching if you're having a lovely evening please don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying my vlogmas videos and um, I will see you for another one tomorrow